There's many misconceptions, uh, but if I, can, if I can pick a few. One is just having the wrong mentality to change. Uh, what I know is of today, there's 100 trillion committed to AI in terms of investment from the private equity, VC and government world. And that's going to increase to 500 trillion over the next five years. Hmm. And I only see two outcomes out of that. Either AI is going to be truly everything it's supposed to be eventually, or it's going to be forced to be as investors and countries and people who have invested in this technology uh, need to get a return on their investment. But the two scenarios are concluding that it will happen somehow. So a, a very large misconception I see is, oh, I won't do it now, it's advancing at such a fast pace, I'll wait until it becomes better. But there's a perfect storm happening, not just in AI, but we also have quantum computing advancing significantly. We have much more powerful processing chips, better memory, ability to store. The biggest gift that I would ask everybody to uh, give themselves is just the, the gift of not having fear and, and really just having an imagination. You know, go, go back to process or engineering. Just look at what your company does, what your governments do, and just try to reimagine how could it be with an AI super kick next year. Because everything is available already. So there's no, there's no more innovation needed. I, the IQ of general AI models would be 250 by summer. That's smarter than any of us in this room, I'm sure. So innovation is great. It's going to get better, especially around algorithms getting more energy efficient so that we don't have to damage the environment as much. I was so worried about this that I actually invested in a solar energy company because I want to offset my carbon footprint. So that's why I made that investment. I think we have everything we need. Just imagination and the right attitude is everything. We've got to push through now and stop just waiting for things to happen.